row. Oh, these bitches know you niggas hoes. I'm surgical with a 38, give them a nose. You niggas ain't really sick, just pretend to be cold. I open up this magazine, your center will fold. I've been hit the road with plenty loads. Came back dropping cats with plenty pros. I made 60,000 off $10 blows and made another 40 bands off $5 stones. Look, trap jumping, I'm paying the Jordan. Hold one, he a bum, asking for a slug. I let him hold one. If you are. All right, all right, so what we are going to do, we are going to be talking about the King of the Dot uh, Grand Prix. Um, we've got the North Division coming up, being from Canada. We are, we the North, so I got to shout out, this is, you know, this is my division that I'm biased for. You know, it's so it's an actual mix of, you know, some northern area, Pittsburgh, you know, Detroit. I already told y'all nothing but love for Detroit. So, you know, and some Canada. So with Detroit and Canada, you know, being wrecked on to this north division, then I've got to be a little bit you know a little bit a little bit biased and not feel any any bad way about it so we're gonna go through this uh, event there and just see what's going on um start off a bad news is how we did hear that um, Joe and I, and I was so amped for his return, um, has, wasn't able to return and had to back out of the tournament, so because of that, he is not going to be going into the tournament, and he has been replaced by another Detroit veteran who has been around for a long time but it is M City okay so like if you've followed battle rap for more than you know if you're not like new into this battle rap thing then like you definitely know who M City is, and you definitely got to respect who M City is. And you know, he's nothing to sleep on. So, M City, he will be going against Joey V, you know, um, from Toronto. So, you know, already. It's nothing but love, you know, to him and his whole squad. It's Mafia, you know, Beast Mode, shout out. So it's nothing but love towards that. Um, so I will start off with that matchup. Um, I'm actually, because of my, you know, bias to Toronto, I'm actually happier for Joey on this matchup not no hate to M City but I do think the Jonai matchup just on how the way he writes and him being gone for so long and him this being his comeback battle that was going to be a very hard matchup for Joey to come out with on the winning end so I was edging to Jonai there um, with M City, um, I think your the style matchup is much more closer and comparable to what they do, but it is also different because um, Joey doesn't really fully go direct, always out of the point of a opponent. He does some little swag, smooth talking, slick talking, drug talk stuff through his rhymes. That is very smooth and very energetic and great to get the crowd 
going. Um, MCD's got some punches. I think that I'm glad for this matchup because I do think that these two match up better and closer than Joey versus Jonai. And I think that this will actually produce a better battle um, production out of the end. Um, I think these two are close enough that it really depends on who comes with the right attack um, as to who's going to win. Um, I would like Joey to approach it kind of like how he approaches Peppery battle and it's really going for the kill there. I thought that was like one of my favorite battles from Joey. Um, either way, this is definitely going to be a 2-1 battle. I have, unless somebody chokes or messes up, I don't see anybody clearly taking this one. This is going to be a 2-1 battle. So, you know what? I got a edge to um, Joey. I think um, MCD being known, but not being really a superstar. I think Joey being a little bit less unknown, but they do know him in Detroit. He can be ready to shock out the world and totally, you know? So I'm gonna edge that one to to Joey. Uh, okay, so we got Marv one versus Gage. Okay, so I don't want people thinking that I'm hating on Gage because Gage versus Goods is literally the only battle from Goods that I like, and I thought that them two in that battle is amazing. I thought Gage versus Verb. With Gage was amazing, but this is a tournament style battle. Two minute, not three, not five minute rounds. Two minute rounds, and this is Marv One, who has been killing tournaments since two. Like we we seen him in two thousand seven, two thousand and eight with with Quest McCody. So I don't know why. A lot of people really seem to be doubting on what Marv can do. I think Marv's style, because Marv will clown you into, like, right after the other. He's not going to slick out. He's just going to, you know, it's not punch heavy, but he's, like, I've always said that I could totally picture him in school being the class clown and doing the dirty dozens and just ripping people. I think in the two minute rounds, it completely benefits Marv. We can't forget that Marv can freestyle when he wants to. He doesn't really choke. I have Marv taking this 2-1, possibly 3-0. I, I think people are sleeping on him. Somehow he's looked at it as an underdog, like people don't realize that this is an actual Detroit legend in this tournament. He's not really getting the flowers and he's not really getting his due. Every will read the champ. He's not really getting his due in this tournament. I got Marv as one of my favorites to win the division and definitely taking this round. Okay, so um, the other thing that Marv and I, I've talked about it on Twitter and Facebook a lot of times that Marv don't get his flowers for and y'all in this battle rap world need to f correct this. Why is it when everybody be naming who's the best that make music and there's only a few of us that recognize and give his name. This guy is easily one of the best rappers on tracks and you can't you can't name like five to six people clearly better than him on tracks you know they can compare but they're not clearly better than him this guy be making beats this guy i don't even understand but marv is 
you know, I've been a fan of him since forever, so maybe I'm a little bit biased on that. Okay, so then we got Sharon versus Shoddy P. Okay, so Sharon is another one of my picks to win this just because, let's be honest, Sharon, he can mix silly guy like, you know, he can do some gun punches, he can be funny, he can be silly, you know, he can be, he can do Eminem third round of 8 Mile of making fun of himself and it going over well. Plus, who else in this tournament, no matter how much time limit they're going to be given in between rounds, do we know is not going to choke? Have we ever, like, you see him throw and slip up, I think. But we know he's not going to choke. His freestyle is incredible. Okay, so Shoddy P is a good writer. Shoddy P is a great puncher. He sometimes is very smart on even when the other person is ranked higher or viewed better. He's very good, I find, at picking the right angle to go at the opponent he's going for. He reminds me of Murder Mook on that where even if the other person is better he knows the chink in the armor and how to approach it so that'll be interesting on how he approaches Sharon but if we're just going on past performances and skill set on paper this is a two minute Tournament style, two minute rounds. You have to go for Sharon on this. You have to go for Sharon. You know, he's going to probably take the second. Where he's going to do a lot of rebuttals. And then he needs to take the first or the third. So, Shadi, have a crazy third. Have a crazy first. If you have to have a, the weakest round, you can wedge that into the second. Have a crazy first round. Take it crazy first round that you have all the momentum. And your third round. Especially the last 45 seconds to a minute of your round. Talk to him in pure heat. But you know what? I have to edge to Sharon. You know, I've 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 actually can say it like I've been I've been a supporter of Sharon from the very beginning of his career. Like I think the second battle he had, you see Sharon in a concrete gorilla shirt. That's my squad and stuff like that. Like I was like from around them times, I was telling my people, I'm like that kid is gonna be the future of Canadian battle rap. I didn't think that Pat, I'll be honest, that's not an attitude. I didn't even think Pat Stay would still be battling. I thought he would have given the mentality of being too big for it and stuff like that. Truth say, I don't. I didn't see the money being at this big, but so I I seen Troll in 2007, yeah, like 2009, 10, whatever it was, and I'm like, his freestyle is next level. And at that time, his writing was good enough to get by. And it was basic as hell. He started, you know, rolling with like Bishop and 100 Bullets and other people. And I think really developing. And he was like 6, 17. So, you know, you grow up, you learn, mature. I knew he was going to be the future. So, I really can't not put Sharon on this one all right and then the last battle and this one's going to be probably mm, this is probably going to be the battle of the night and the most difficult to decide because they both really have different styles like like time is very aggressive and very energetic and like he had that 
you have an energy and stuff and its lines are good and they're aggressive and they're pushed like that um real deal like everyone's like oh what are you gonna do against real deals jokes and stuff like that like real deals not just a joker and stuff like that I don't know why people would present that what real deal does and he does sometimes use jokes to do that the same tactic especially against um, street or good or you know any type of hard presented people is he does similar to what Pat Stay does but not as hard is He's going to break down and demystify your street image and stuff like that. If you watch him versus money bags when he did the whole job lap job application is they're gonna break down that street image that is so presented and show how silly it is. That's where the joke comes from because they're gonna have them laughing at so when you come back with that thing, it doesn't hit as hard. Um, and just basic, you know, gun bars or stuff like that, without any angles to them, any strategy to them, will not work. And he's above just doing basic, like, white boy lines and stuff like that. So you have to be very strategic on each round on not only having the best punches but making sure your approach and your angles are on point plus like I don't know if people don't remember especially back when King of the Dot was really first bubbling and the world dominations were hitting like like Real deal can freestyle like he'll lose to like he'll he'll lose to somebody like DNA or Sharon, but he's right below he's right there. So his freestyles are on point. So you can't really count on him um, choking or slipping up. And if you say the wrong thing that hits right, you do also have to worry of the possible chance of rebuttaling because he doesn't do it every match he doesn't do it every round but he's definitely shown that he can rebuttal okay so that is um times now it's who he's going for shout out times alpha league you know with the greyhound gang all that you know shout out you know times a few times that i've been to detroit you know whatever Times has always shown love. He's always, you know, he usually try to twist it by the end of the night, but he's always shown love and stuff. He, you were supposed to, you know, I never had a chance to try the alpha juice, but you know, next time I come down there, making sure I get my cop coming early enough to get my cop. Okay, so, um, Again, I see two to one because each one of these guys are good enough to, you know, have one heavy round and everything. At first, I was going to say, you know, this is King of the Dot and everything. I was going to be like, Real Deal really knows the crowd, the thing. Obviously, with the champ thing, he knows how to win. But... This is King of the Dot Detroit. And Times is Mr. Glove Up. And the crowd that's going to be there. He's going to really know how to reach them. He's going to really know what's going to get the reaction and everything. So, um, this, you know what, because this one is so close. But, yeah, you know what? Gotta go two one times is gonna want it. Gonna be hungry like I don't know if real deal is as hungry. Times is really gonna want it. He has really something to prove. So we're gonna go for times on that one. Two to one close battle. Okay, so 
That's the King of the Dot Grand Prix North Division. And just so that you have hear it here first, whoever wins the North is taking it all. So the rest of the divisions, y'all just can chill and relax and discuss what y'all are going to do. But So then, um... The battle is this Sunday on Twitch. Sign up and follow King of the Dot. Spell it out when you look, search for it, King of the Dot. And Saturday, I believe, they do the uh, face-offs live on Twitch. Sometimes, though, they're really funny. Like, the Thoth one was really, really funny, so... Um, and then Sunday they have the battles and I think like three or four make sure you check out do the comments let them know you heard about it here um, after the North one this Saturday I believe they are starting the second rounds so we'll just do a quick rundown of what's going on on the second round so we got disaster doing a rematch from like 2008 versus Thoris West Coast legend versus West Coast legend um, in general I'll be honest I very rarely will vote against the Thoris in battles especially tournament battles um, after the first round I think people are going to be very careful. I have to edge that to the source for that one. And then we have Active versus Saint. I think they level the pen. And I didn't think Active should even have. I don't think Active won his last battle. And Saint's not going to play and go light. I've, there, I don't see any way of Active being able to beat Saint in three rounds. She just doesn't have. The penmanship, he doesn't he doesn't have the skill set that he should be able to compete with Saint. Okay, so um in the south we got I believe Trez versus So Severe. I got Trez taking that. And we got Clone versus Hayes, the family of Family Man Hayes. Um I gotta make up, this one's gonna go either way, but I gotta make up for my totally lacking of confidence in Clone in the first round and put that to him. Then we got, um, what is it? Head Eyes versus XL, which was a battle that was supposed to happen before, but now we get it. So this is gonna be interesting. Um, I like XL better, but. For some reason, I don't know what he does to the judges, but for some reason, judges do not like to not pick ice. So, but I think XL is better. And then we got Show Off versus Jay Murder. Uh, based off the previous performances, I gotta go Show Off on that one. Alright, so this is the Grand Prix for 50,000. Shout out King of the Dot, shout out Organic, Gully, King Fly all of that and okay so um next what we want to talk about hold on and give me a minute there and we're going to talk about the the kings and queens battle Okay, but let's give me a break so I'm just gonna play something while we get ready for that okay and I say I 
and I'm standing on it. I got the heart of war. When it come down to the come down, one band, one sound, every one round gon' run down. Mask up, glove down, whole town on shutdown. Court, slum town, red rum, but not one found. I stay woke, I was so keen from sleeping. Was up all night till they broke, they ain't even peepers creeping. But just give me a reason to fuck up your day like Jeepers creepers. If we had eyes, then we gon' keep on beefing. Until I think it's even. I got a clan of command, they know it's combat on contact. Everybody gonna stick to the plan, like they under contract. I let go of the extra weight, whole camp, non fat. We won't hesitate to regulate. I suggest you stand far back. I never ran from a bitch, I throw my hands for the shit. I swing, I'ma land every hit, I got the heart of the wall. Never scared of a bitch, I just handle the shit. I say it, I'm standing on it, I got the heart of the wall. I never ran from a bitch, I throw my hands for the shit. I swing, I'ma land every hit, I got the heart of the wall. Never scared of a bitch, I just handle the shit. I say it, I'm standing on it, I got the heart of the wall. They'll never find a bitch as real as me. I ain't really gotta talk about it. Pull up my street credibility. I used to bring this shit straight to your door like free delivery. It was just me and my nine. I had to learn to channel my hostility. It was go get them bitches, but don't let them get to me. I used to wild up the dumbest shit. Now I just won't let it get to me. I let them troll, let them troll. There's water up under the bridge to me. Let them talk shit when they mention me. When they see me, hope they keep the same energy. Yeah, they could doubt me, but ain't nothing fake about me. The only way they can say I ain't got heart is if they come and take it out me. Everyone at the table will not eat a plate without me. I've been in the field long enough to recognize all of the snakes around me. I never ran from a bitch. I throw my hands for the shit. I swing, I'ma land every hit. I got the heart of war. Never scared of a bitch. I just handle the shit. I say it, I'm standing on it. I got the heart of war. I never ran from a bitch. I throw my hands for the shit. I swing, I'ma land every hit. I got the heart of war. Never scared of a bitch. I just handle the shit. I say it, I'm standing on it. I got the heart of war. Now I'm ready. 